What's going on with you folks? Papa Joe here. Had a couple of videos I wanted to make tonight. Is that all the way back? No, not quite. Let me try to adjust that. There we go. That might make it gooder. Okay. What I want to vent about. And yeah, I'll probably get excited before it gets over, knowing me in politics. But uh, I watched a little bit of news while I was home. Been reading some of it on the internet over the last couple weeks. Had a couple people call me talking to me about it. And I bet you know what's going on. The Mueller report got released. At least part of it. They're supposed to release more of it to certain people. And there is one party that is just is not happy because they didn't find anything on President Trump. And it is just making them wet their bed. It's ridiculous. And then they got screaming. They wanted the whole report. They wanted to read everything in it. And all the side notes, too. We want to decide for ourselves. Well, you know what? When they have investigations like that, that's exactly what happens. The FBI or whoever, they do the investigation like they was told. They gather together all the facts and information that they can, and they pass it on. <laughs> goes to the Attorney General, it goes to Congress, it goes to the powers to be. The FBI is not the investigator and the charger and the jury and the judge and everything else. It don't work that way. It was getting passed along. So quit with the huffing and puffing and making your demands and taking out subpoenas and all this nonsense. And there's parts of it that you will never see. Talking to the Congress and all that stuff. Because there's some of it that ain't for your eyes. Now they're making it available. If you want to go into a sealed room and just read it. I don't think they're going to allow cameras and all that stuff. No, you can't. Take a picture of it. And they said, well, you don't trust us? Why, hell no. Y'all leak like a sieve. You read some of that information and your favorite reporter is going to pad your retirement account. And all of a sudden, they're going to have an undisclosed uh, informant. Imagine that. Well, someone told us we can't tell you who it was. Follow the money and we can tell you who it was. And that's something else about the money. I am tired of hearing about them wanting to see President Trump's tax returns. If you want to see his, show us yours. I would damn sure like to know how some of y'all got to be millionaires off of the money that you're making when you whine and cry about you don't make enough to, to support yourself. American people just need to know we can't live off this little bit of money. And the American people know that the majority of us live off of half of what you assholes make. Learn to budget your money.
Oh, I know. They have to buy expensive suits and and throw parties and they got to put on all the hoopla, don't they? They want so bad to find something in that report that they can charge President Trump with. And it ain't there. If they could have charged that man with anything, I guarantee you the word would have came out two years ago. Or whenever they found it. It ain't there. And then they had another poll that they released, or whatever it was, that said that uh, President Trump's approval rating is the same right now as Obama's was at this term, part in his term, at this time in his term. I pray it had been more. A lot of people that approve the way he's handling the economy and all that. A lot of people that disapprove of him as a person. I voted for him. I didn't vote for him to be my buddy. I really don't give a damn. Do I like him? No, he's an arrogant individual but I don't figure we're going to sit down at the same dinner table anyway and as long as he's doing what he's doing up there in D.C. I'm fine with it was not being friends always reminds me of that uh, Caddyshack line do you want to be my friend I know I lost some of you there didn't I Yeah, I think he's going to get voted in 2020. Because overall, he's doing a pretty damn good job. And if he could get any kind of help out of Congress and the Senate and all that, out of the elected idiots up there, he'd be able to get a lot more done. And while we're talking about the idiots, you know, they had that resist Trump thing going. Not only with the public, but within their own party. And now they've got them so revved up to hate Trump. The old soldiers in there, the old guard, they're saying, no, there's nothing to charge Trump with. And their new guard is, well, let's make something up. Why can't we just make up a fairy truth, fairy tale? Anymore, we're supposed to work off feelings anyway, not off facts. It's all about feelings. And I feel that y'all are a bunch of sissies that need to shut up and sit down. He's your president. I don't want to hear about it. He ain't my president. The only way he ain't your president is if you tell them you don't want to be a U.S. citizen anymore and go to one of them countries that you're so proud of that you want to throw in our face for an example. Go to El Salvador. Go to Cuba. Go over there to Iran. Iraq. You like them countries so well, become a Mexican citizen. Now, ain't that a deal they got going in New Mexico? New Mexico, they uh, called in the National Guard or called them back. They was working the border, and the governor called them off duty. Now, nah, it ain't important. Trump's lying. It ain't a national security problem. And now they're getting ran over. In one night, they arrested over 700 illegals coming across the border. In one night, 
You do the math. How many is coming over every week and every year? So now they got some patriots down there trying to help them. And they heard one person identify himself as a border patrol. And he wasn't. And these civilians are holding these illegals against their will and waiting on the border patrol. And that's against their rights. No, it ain't. If you're illegal over here, you don't have any rights. The United States Bill of Rights is for United States citizens. What part of that don't y'all understand? If you're here illegal, you're an illegal alien, period. Y'all don't seem to understand illegal. I done made a video on that the other night. So now they're raising a bunch of hoopla saying these citizens can't be down there doing what they're doing. Why not? Why not? I thought that was part of the Second Amendment. The right to keep and bear arms against all enemies, huh? If our government won't do the job, why can't we? What happened to citizens' arrest? You remember that one? Used to be something called citizens' arrest. And if you just watch somebody enter our country illegally, why can't you stop them and hold them for authorities? If they want to turn around and run back the other way, let them. But don't let them go no farther into our country. Wait right here. We got somebody who wants to talk to you. And I am so tired of hearing about they all want asylum. Really? Then how about going to the checkpoint and going through the proper way? Sneaking across the fence in the middle of nowhere is not how you try to get protection. And why don't you stop in Mexico and get your protection? Why do you have to come to the United States to get it? Oh wait, we give you all the free shit, don't we? We're the free shit country. Ain't that amazing? When do I get some of the free shit? I'm out here working my ass off. Working my ass off and living paycheck to paycheck. Now ain't that something? And I ain't the only one. There's a bunch of us. Oh, wait a minute. I'm part of that trailer park trash, racist, Nazi, haters that voted for Trump, plan on voting for him again. I'm a deplorable. The only problem with that is I live in a brick and mortar home. Y'all have seen my house. I don't live in a trailer park. I'm not a hating, hater. I ain't a racist. I ain't Nazi. They throw them words and names around so much they don't mean nothing to nobody anymore. <coughs> and we all already know the ones calling them names and giving them tags are the ones that are guilty of it. Whether they like it or not. But yeah, the uh, old guard can't keep the young ones in check no more. Young as in experience. 
So now they're trying to say, no, we don't want to try no uh, uh, impeachment. It's a waste of time. Let the voters decide. We have an election in 18 months. Let the voters decide. Yeah, why don't you let us decide? I got news for you. Trump has enough supporters as it is, and y'all are turning your own people against you because you're so far left. The stuff you're wanting to do is totally ridiculous that you're dividing your party up. Thank you. So it should pretty much be a shoe in. At this point, Trump would have to come up and personally screw up in front of me. Because I'm not going to believe the media or any other politicians trying to tell me what a bad guy is. You've been telling me for three years what a bad guy is. And I think for a bad guy, he's doing pretty damn good. What say ye? So tired of all that politician nonsense. I don't even hardly watch it anymore. I don't keep track of it near as much as I used to. My headset's charged. Oh, let me get my phone on a charger. Well, it's Easter and I had to leave the house today. At noon. Grandma's not happy. I took it in stride. It is what it is. I know you are not charged yet. No, but you ain't far from it. Oh, goodness. All right, folks, it's getting to be that time where they start just slamming us with a bunch of nonsense. You're going to see a bunch of lies about Trump. You're going to see a bunch of lies about how great they are. That old Rourke guy. He thinks we should pay, what is that called, restitution or whatever, to all the blacks. No. No. It's real simple why. None of us living today know any slave owners. None of us have ever owned any slaves. We, our grandparents didn't even own any slaves. You've got to go back so many generations that the names are forgotten. The blacks and stuff that think they should get restitution, I promise you they don't even know the name of anybody in their family that was a slave. Oh, there might be one or two that did a little bit of history, but I can tell you, in my opinion, there is no blacks today that would have been affected by slavery. The blacks today are in their problem because they keep voting for Democrats. You keep Vote for the people that are holding you down and doing you damage. You are enslaved by the Democratic Party. Period. They have you on the government toll and they want to keep you there. They want to keep you dependent upon the government. And you can break free from it. Many have. More still can. If you get your head right and get your heart into the game, you can break out of the chains of bound, uh, of uh, the chains of whatever the hell they call it, uh, uh, and get away from the Democratic Party. First thing you have to do is realize who your enemy is. And guess what? It's not the average white guy out here on the street. We're not your enemy. 
Your enemy is camped out in Washington, D.C. Or else in your state or your your county office or your city offices. Those people are the ones that are your enemy. Learn your enemy and start fighting them. Quit letting them distract you and point you the wrong direction. Yes, it's that simple. Hell, go to trucking. From what I hear, you can make over a hundred thousand dollars a year. That's what I've been told here in some comments. If you believe the Democrats, you might as well believe that guy that was telling me all that. Ninety thousand a year plus is easy to come by. That's what he said. He must have been a Democrat. And he has your best interest at heart. Folks, I'm tired. I'm fixing to go to bed. Y'all remember, God loves you. So do I. The Democrats, not so much. Good night.